fun. Charlemagne the devil? Possibly. <laughs> the Breakfast Club. Yeah, it's Donkey of the Day for Monday, October 31st. Halloween is a double donkey because I really couldn't decide who should get this hee-haw this morning, so I decided to let them share the day. First up, Mariah Carey. Now, if you haven't heard, Mariah Carey has broken up with her billionaire boyfriend, and she is asking for a $50 million inconvenience fee and a house in L.A., and she wants to keep the $10, the $10 million ring he bought her when he proposed. Now, let's put all this in context. The billionaire said he broke up with her because she was spending all his money, and she said that's not true. He was controlling and abusive. That's why they broke up. I'm sure the truth lies somewhere in the middle of all this, but here's the reality of the situation. Mariah Carey is out her rabbit ass mind. There is no inconvenience fee when you and a person break up, okay? You two weren't married. You don't have any kids together. There is nothing inconvenient about this breakup. The only inconvenience is the fact that Mariah Carey can't conveniently dip into that billionaire's bank account whenever she wants. Now, to top it off, Mariah Carey says she's traditional and hasn't had sex with the billionaire yet. So on top of you suing me for $50 million and wanting a house in LA simply because we broke up, you ain't even let me smash? The only person who seems to have been inconvenienced in this situation is the billionaire. I'm letting you spend all this money, all my cash, and you ain't even let me sniff the poom poom? That is an inconvenient. Mariah Carey didn't get an STD, catching herpes from someone, uh, you're dating or syphilis or gonorrhea, that's an inconvenience, but a simple breakup? Mariah Carey is a legend. A diva, but she's not acting like it right now. In fact, she's sounding like one of the founding members of the Washington clan. She sounds like she is desperate and hurting for money. Mariah Carey is tripping, stumbling, and falling, and she is clearly on the same narcotics that Soldier Boy was on this weekend, which conveniently leads me into the person who is sharing Donkey of the Day honors with Mariah Carey today, Soldier Boy. Now, Soldier Boy is gonna be the first celebrity who allows his followers to get him beat up, arrested, or killed. Okay, I watched Soulja Boy's timeline a little bit this weekend because the stupidity of some people intrigues me so much, and Soulja Boy is one of those people, okay? On one hand, he's clearly a smart kid, and he retweets people saying how much of a genius he is and how smart he is, and some of that is true as far as what he's been able to accomplish in the music business, the unorthodox way he broke through. He kind of started the wave of people utilizing the internet to become stars, so I give him props for that. But there's absolutely nothing smart or wise about incriminating, incriminating yourself online. Now, I can't even begin to tell you who exactly Soldier Boy was beefing with this weekend. Angela Lee tried to explain it during a rumor report. I tried report. to break it down. Mm. All I know is it started with Little Yachty and then Soldier Boy went on social media and started incriminating himself. Uh, on one one tweet I saw he put out, he said, I will put a $100,000 bounty on people's heads if they beef with me. Then, then he was retweeting people saying they will kill Little Yachty for Soldier if he gives them that bag. And all I kept thinking was, does Soldier have any OGs that can slap him in the back of the head and tell him relax. These be the same dudes that will cry about somebody snitching on them, but you're dumbass snitching on yourself. I would never understand people incriminating themselves on social media. Now, I guess Soldier Boy realized the error in his ways because he ran a play out of the 2012 social media celebrity playbook, and he said he got hacked. Soldier Boy, I don't know if you realize this or not, but you posted videos, my guy. I don't care how fast you deleted those videos. Social media <laughs> caught them. And unless you got a hologram or unless somebody has a great Soldier Boy costume for Halloween, you wasn't hacked. Can we hear one of those videos of Soldier Boy incriminating himself? Boy, stop playing with me, ass nigga. You know I'm having two condos in London and a mansion in London. And you know you just got raw. Don't make me expose you. Don't get smoked. Don't get smoked over a little ass kid beefing over a bitch that I ain't never even met, folks. I swear to God, I'm having 150 shooters in Atlanta. Damn the address. You talking about? Jeez, I don't even know who he was talking to. I don't even know what he was talking about. All I know is that can be used against you in a court of law in case whoever you're talking about does get shot. Soldier, we saw you, okay, talking all that tough talk just to say you got hacked. That's the second best lie Soldier Boy's told this year. The first was telling people he signed a $400 million deal. All right, but I don't get mad at him for telling these lies. I get mad at the dumbass people who be retweeting them and that believe these lies. Please give Mariah Carey and Soldier Boy the biggest hee haw, please. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The Breakfast Club. <laughs>